Bridge. That beautiful beach and just one little house over there. It's so beautiful. I wish I could stay here for a week. But we've got bad weather coming and we have to head south. So we are heading towards Samoa. Ooh, that's the mountain where the bad weather was coming over last night. Directly into us. Yeah. But we were nicely protected. <sighs> Left at least half the night. <laughs> <laughs> I did wake up and see actually you get very cheesy when you see so well. <laughs> and you're standing on deck worrying about whether the anchor will hold. I, I don't think I'm worried about the anchor. I was worrying about the, um, if we can make a 360 turn if the wind turns because we were right over there. Well, I was hoping we. we... I the uh, keys in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to bring the anchor up. And you can see over there that the, the hose is washing the chain as it comes up out of the water. This is the windlass over here. I'm just holding the remote to bring it up. And in a while, we'll see the anchor coming up out of the water. There it comes, I can see it in the water. Okay, still got quite a lot of mud on it. I'm going to send it back down to get it a bit washed. Mud is very good holding, so when we have a muddy bottom, we are very happy. There we go, and it's off. There we go. Anchor's up. Anchor's away, and off we go. Are you ready? We're up. Water can go off. The remote can go back through the hatch. I need to go to the back to check that um, the dinghy line doesn't get caught in the rudder if Daryl is reversing. He's not reversing at the moment. So there's our dinghy. We don't normally tow it with the engine on. We normally lift it off but we've got a very short ride today and we know that some stronger southerly winds are coming so we want to get moving. We don't want to waste another 30 minutes hauling the heavy engine up on this crane over here and putting it over there. So here we go. Daryl is using the bow thruster to do a lovely turn right round. And now we are heading out to sea. And we are heading south today. So when we get out into this channel that is running between Kefalonia and Ithaca, which is the island opposite, we are going to turn right or as we would say on the boat, turn to starboard. We are Daryl and Kathy, and we have just embarked on a huge adventure. Join us as we begin our sailing journey on sailing vessel Dizer. That is the cloud we've got to keep our eye on. Yeah, well, what's cool about it is blowing um going 
Well, there is that um, big gale force wind that we saw off the west, remember? Maybe it's moved again. Was that on VHF, Daryl, or Navtex? This time of the year, the Mediterranean is famous for having the weather suddenly come up. It can be dangerous very quickly. It doesn't look like it where we are. And I am losing wind rapidly now. Yeah. Two men to nine. Can you just get some images here? Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. So, one minute. Baby, you can't, you gotta wait, you can't wait. Tidying the ropes. And bringing in the ropes. Go over here. The anchorage is not in front of the beach. In fact, the anchorage is in front Under of the that field. field. Yeah, yes. yeah. Maybe a little bit in front of the beach. It'll be so nice to have a chart plotter you can look at through Polaroid sunglasses. Mm. Oh, you haven't got to sit yet. Oh, let's stand it so much. I'll stop at 40. Okay, stop there. Okay. So, let's show you how the dinghy is full of water. We had a huge thunderstorm last night. Fresh water. They do washing normally. Oh, okay, that's a jolly good idea. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'll go just around the block. <laughs> so what it happens now? How do you get rid of that water? Uh, the valve I pull, uh, 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 it's a one-way I open, oh, I open it up. And then the, I think they call it the, it's a Venturi effect that sucks as I ride it, huh? sucks the water. All I did it right. before and I was quite surprised that they had well, well it worked. having fun now. Did it work? Not all of it. Okay, maybe a little bucket or a cup or something. Okay, I'll bring you one. 
I mentioned earlier that we don't usually tow the dinghy with the outboard motor still on it. So here's how we actually hoist the outboard motor onto our boat. Okay, there you go. Okay, that was nine minutes from start to finish. It's our best yet. Okay, this you can, um, this you can screw there. So we've been going nearly eight hours and we've got about another three to go. I suppose we could make it quicker and turn the engine on, but that wouldn't be fun. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're here for. It's silver. Yes, exactly. It's like engine boat. This means it's time to take in the flag. Daryl, have you got your trumpet ready? What? Your trumpet. Time to switch on some lights. And at last we have arrived on the island of Crete and we are going to be staying here for a couple of months in the winter. We've arrived just in time to see the start of a fun run as the autumn light fades and evening draws in. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe and remember to click the notification bell so that you never miss an episode. Goodbye till next time.